Welcome back, everybody, to another All Things Nerd video. As always, my name is Nathan. Welcome back to exploring the world of Azeroth in World of Warcraft. Now, before we begin, I just want to thank everybody for 5,000 subscribers to the channel. That is amazing to me, so thank you so much. This video is dedicated to you guys, the fans, at 5,000 subscribers. That just blows my mind. Tonight, we are going to be in the Hellfire Citadel raid. This is a 5,000 subscriber special video. I am joined here tonight with True Hero. Hey, True Hero. What's up? And uh, what he's, he's going to be doing this video with me tonight. We're going to be doing some OOB exploration. And uh, we're going to be showing you exactly how to get out of bounds and how to do that. Also, before we begin, if you guys haven't joined the ATN Discord, I highly recommend you do. We're building a big OOB community in there. We've been having a lot of fun. It, I would love to meet you. Come stop on by. And uh, yeah, so let's get right into it. Um, I'm going to let Hero take the reins on sh how to get out of OOB here. And uh, we're just going to go explore outside the map. So how do we get out uh, of here? So basically, I don't know if you're going to have your map open to show them where we are. So yep. right before the Socrator, the eternal boss. And then right in this corner is where you want to... Who gets this credit? Uh, Submerge this. All right, so... Uh, Submerge is the one that found this one. So thank you, Submerge. Full credit to him. So I wanted to make sure we did that before we broke out. <laughs> yep. Good. All right. So uh, basically what he figured out is if you Infernal Strike, like, into this corner, yeah. and then further, and then you walk, and you fall. Sweet. Make so sure not to go to, to the other side of this, because that will kill you. Death wall's all over. Yep. But if you look back, you can see the entire raid still. Awesome, let's do this. I'm super excited. We've only been out here one time already. And um, yep. there's a lot to see. I won't spoil anything, but I'll just say this map is gigantic. It's huge. Definitely. So I guess we're going to go start on the right side first, so let's go head out that way. Well, that's the thing about this OB. Um, the way you start uh, is always going to be the same because of the amount of dead walls. Hmm, okay. Oh. Yeah. One thing I do want to point out real quick is right behind us, if you guys see, there's like the floating, I don't know, cage in the sky. And you can kind of get a good glimpse out of the map here. So you can see the whole raid above us. And you can tell how much... And the skybox is really awesome too in this raid, by the way. So, just wanted to point that out real quick. Wanted to give the sh viewers a shot behind us and what we're kind of looking at out here. Yes, sir. If I remember correctly, this place is huge. And there is a lot to explore out here. Um, maybe doing some editing a little bit on this video just because there's a lot to explore <laughs> and jumping to different places because we're definitely going to be doing a lot of walking while we're out here. Oh, oh, I forgot to dismount. Oh, well, <laughs> took some damage, but I'm okay. Okay, good. So what have we seen so far? So, so far when we come out of the raid... We're seeing a lot of the blocky textures that we usually see uh, with the mountainside. Oh, yeah. Um, you see the island in the distance over here. We can check that out. Uh, you can't actually go to the island. Um, Did we ever figure out what the island was? No, not yet. But um, I feel like that would be Asheron. Hmm. Okay. No. Uh, no, maybe. I don't know. Sounds about right. I honestly do not know. Now, I don't remember. But, outside, only in the main raid area, there is only death walls over there, right? None, none out here that we know so far. Yeah, out here, not. I know that. Um, I'm not going to spoiler it, but at some area that was really cool soon that we're going to see. Um, you could get stuck. Oh, okay. Okay. So we do got to be careful there. Yeah. 
Uh, you can get out of it with like a little bit of maneuvering and shit, but um, yeah, it's not great. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we finally got out of the untextured, ah, set it, untextured gray space. Yep, there you go. There we go. Finally on some modeled floor here. Not too much to see out here so far yet. Not yet. I do have to admit, I do love the skybox in this raid though. This thing's awesome. It looks really good. One of my favorite skyboxes so far. But I do have to admit, what was the, uh... Sneak peek, what was the what was the raid we were doing the other day and the skybox was really cool. Um We just you just unlocked it. It was the one in Pandaria. Yeah, uh, Nylota. Yeah. No no not Nylotha, no no the other one. Um The one with like the giant insect bugs and all that. Uh what raid am I thinking about? Hold on. Heart of Fear? Uh yes, Heart of Fear, thank you. That skybox was really cool. I haven't done a video on that yeah. place yet, but that will be in the future, so... So, uh, to tuned your for left that. here, you have a city. Do not get near it. There's those walls all around that place. But you can look at it from a distance. Do you still have your spyglass? I do, I do. You can check it out with the spyglass real quick. Which was a like. gift from you, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> yep. Actually, I need to put it on one of my... Mars here, so let's do... What do we want no, to you replace? can't check it out from a distance. That's fine. Alright, let's zoom in here. They do keep a ton out here. And you know what's funny? Yeah. That's actually the beginning of the raid right there. If I remember yep. correctly. That's from the outside area. I believe so, yeah. Which would explain why there's so many dead walls. Because when we... It's right, it's actually a funny story, when we tried getting out of bounds in this raid. Yes. <laughs> um, we died so many times to those dead walls. Yeah, a lot. I remember I did find the beginning area where you could jump into the stairs, but that led you to nowhere. Yep. <laughs> I mean, it did lead that you was... outside, but... I mean, yeah, to some degree it did, but and then you just not died. this. <laughs> really curious what that island is over the right on the distance. Hmm. So am I, but as far as I know, if we can't get to it, I've been here um, multiple times after trying to get there, to be honest with you. Um, I was unable to. Yeah, we'll have to find out. Maybe in the future we can find another way, who knows. Yep. <clears throat> or use some special tools to find out what's out there. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Well, it's nice having somebody out here with me doing this video. Usually I'm just doing these by myself. But nice I know... But, to warn everybody, because <laughs> you know exactly, Blizzard does not like cooperation with OOB, especially big parties. No. So just be careful doing these with friends. One or two people is not going to hurt anybody. But if you go out and start doing raids, Blizzard will be on you. Yeah, Blizzard is not like that. But we're not doing anything bad. Definitely not. So, we can either go over the mountains, or we could take the way around. I don't really mind. Um... Let's... What do you think? You know what? Can we go see what's in this giant hole over here first? Yeah, that that's what we would go around. Um, and then maybe we can go over the mountains next. I think going around, because I think... Well, going the, around will send us to the mountains the, that you can see in the distance. That's true. And also, isn't the final stage over here, right? In the back? Yep. It's close to here, yeah. Final boss room. And if I remember correctly, there's not too much down there in the hole. No, there's nothing in the hole. It's just a really, really big hole. Gosh, the place is massive. Here you have something that might look familiar to you. Oh yeah, so coming up here, we got the final boss room, um, which you can go inside. And you can get in there, but it's kind of hard to get out. I mean, not too hard to get out. 
You can just infernal I mean, strike out, right? Of a struggle. Yeah. Mm. If only it was just infernal striking out of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're in a raid, so we can't use toys, unfortunately. All right, we do got to do a little bit of OOB and maneuver in here. So let's head up here. Ah, I missed. You, you know can what? do it. I'm just going to switch to Fell Rush. Forget it. <laughs> I couldn't. F I, I don't want to deal with the Fernal Strike. There we go. Uh, it's not too hard. All right, there you cool. go. Took the easy way out. <laughs> All right. Let's go check out this boss room. You know, I do have to say, this is definitely one of the... Cooler OOBs for sure. There is, like, I don't think people understand. Like, there is a lot out here, a lot. So, it's really I mean, neat to see. Gonna see, right? Yeah, yeah. Give them some time. So right now we're coming up to the. Can we actually go that way? In in that way or no? Or would that be death walls? Yes, but then we gotta go around. Okay, so let's go out this way then. Um, if I jump up here real quick, will I get stuck in there? No, you should be fine. Okay, because I do want to show the viewers the boss room from the up stairs here. What am I doing on fell rushes? All right. Oh, okay, that's not working. Actually, I think I'm hitting a wall. Are you hitting a wall up there? No. Of course not. <laughs> Typical hero. Always breaking out of things before me. <laughs> All right, I mean, you're asking do. me to do most of them as well. <laughs> That's true. And then over here, me struggling. Uh, hold on. There you go. Oh, nice. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you didn't have to do that. I appreciate it, though. Okay. Now I'm up here as well. All Another right. Let's take a look at this final boss room. So if you guys remember, this is the final room that you actually fight the boss, um, Archimon in. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it looks cool from the outside. I didn't I didn't know that they had the final boss room all the way in the back here, so that was really neat to find when we first went through here. Yep. Um do watch out when you're behind the portal in that temple. Um it is not solid and you will get stuck in it and it's really hard to get out of. Hmm. All right, so if noted. you come here yourself, um just watch out for that. I, we can stick to the left side here, right, and be okay? Yep. Okay. I'm gonna head out this way. Give you guys a better side shot of this room. I'm gonna get a screenshot here. I like this boss, the final boss room. Alright, let's go head down here. And uh, let's go take a look around below. We do got a bunch of the buildings down here. And if you guys actually remember, this is like the very beginning area where you actually start Draenor coming in for the yep. first time. Uh, the mine that closes up and that's boarded up over here. Ooh, we do want to avoid water. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's any swimming animations. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount up here. And just walk across. Do you have inflatable shoes? Oh, you do? Yep. All right, I do. Cool. You know what would be kind of neat? I wonder if the cave is loaded in. Not sure. Hmm. Doesn't look like it. No, I don't think so. Don't think so. Yeah. Nature's Mountain. 
give you guys a good shot of this area here. Here's the boarded up cave that you come out of. It's been a while since I've been to Draenor and did the quest line, probably since Draenor came out. You enjoyed it? Yeah, I, I did. I, I thought Draenor was a cool expansion. I just, I think honestly, in my own opinion, like every a lot of other people, uh, I thought Warlords could have been the best expansion that WoW's ever made. But they cut so much from it. Cut so much. So, I don't know. What'd you think of Warlords? I mean, they focus too heavily on the garrisons. Yeah, agreed. Which kind of ruined it to a degree. Hmm. Here we are. We're heading out to the Emerald Dream. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Uh, that, that will be another video, but... Yeah. <laughs> Kind of looks like the Emerald Dream out here, like the early developed one. It, it does, yeah. Now, as you guys can tell, it is just sprawled out openness back here. Um, and it's crazy to me, like, how much they keep, so. And here goes our skybox changing. Yep. Because, I won't spoil it, but we're heading in a certain direction that we're going to be coming up to. And here, I thought you forgot. <laughs> oh no, I remember this. I know that you guys <laughs> got lost, like, so much. Oh yeah, there's so much to explore out here. And we are coming up to another untextured gray space, so feel free to walk on this. You guys will oh, notice something out here. If you see something way in the distance, this landmass, we're going to be coming up to it. I won't spoil what it is, but maybe you guys can take a guess. While we're walking, I have maybe a fun fact for you. Yeah. Um, a What's fun up? OOB fact. So, mm -hmm. in the dead mines, the OOB in the dead mines, we see what we thought was like early version of... Um, Outland, mm -hmm. right? But um, the devs have actually confirmed that that is not an early version of Outland because in that time of development, yeah, Outland was never supposed to be the second expansion. Um, it's actually BFA that was supposed to be the second expansion, but they couldn't do it uh, because of hardware limitations. So they did Outland instead. But in the time of making dead mines, they never thought of Outland as like an option. So what it probably was was just someone messing around with the well stuff that they had and didn't use yet. Interesting, yeah, because it wasn't um the second expansion was supposed to be the South Seas with like pirates themed. Yep. Yep. But they couldn't get water down, and Nashatar was actually supposed to be one of the areas in that expansion, but as we know, Nashatar didn't come till later. Um, Way later. Limited to the water effects and all that. They didn't have the technology back then. Which, you know, man, how that would have changed a lot of things, huh? I mean, yeah. I think it's good the way that it went. I think Outland was a good expansion. Like, uh, Burning Crusade was a good expansion. Yeah. And then obviously you have Wrath that came next, which is probably the most regarded best expansion of all of Wild's history. <laughs> well, yeah. In my opinion, it is. <laughs> obviously, other than Shadowlands, what do you think was like one of the worst expansions? It was there an expansion? The worst? Yeah, that you weren't a big fan of. Mmm. Did you like Warlords? Other than the garrisons? That's the thing. Like, you say other than the garrisons, but there was not much else than the garrisons. That's what I'm saying. They got so much from this expansion. Very sad, because we were supposed to get the whole homeland of the Ogres, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yep. And we somewhat got that, but... You know. Yeah. 
I thought Legion wasn't too good of an expansion either. Oh, Legion? Yeah. Yeah. Did you like BFA over Legion? I mean, BFA wasn't like anything special, but at least they didn't fuck up anything with it. Yeah, I see what you're saying. All right, so we finally yeah, made our way. <laughs> finally made our way across this whole gray space, and we can swim out here. Thank God. I remember. Why would you swim when you can run? Oh yeah, that's true. There we go. All right, so if you guys notice something, and I'll just say it now, we're coming up on the Gorgon, which is really crazy, oh. and they keep all of Gorgon out here. I mean. Not a lot of, like, the buildings and stuff loaded in, but all the landmass. I was... Skybox chains as well. I wonder what, uh... I wonder what their thinking was out here with Gorgon. Like, because you can't see this far outside the raid, so I don't know what this is all about. Well, that's the thing, right? Um... Most of the people don't know about the other stuff that we have found, but it's probably the same reasons as the stuff that we found back then. Yeah. Um, we can jump up here, I think. Yeah, we can make that. Uh, I'd have to go around. Okay. Yeah, we can go around uh, to the right of here. You can yeah, here on. it is. It just went straight up uh, right here. Okay. You... Yeah. Oh. Okay. Were works. you going the other way? Sorry. <laughs> I was paying attention. There we go. Like a ramp right here. That works. Cool. So check this out, guys. So normally where we're at is the iron docks and um, what's all that back there? Gosh, I can't think of it. Yeah, the Everbloom Wilds. You got the Tangle Heart and the Blackrock Foundry and all that. Um, as you can tell, everything's unloaded. If you come down here, you can see this really weird textured area, which I love this red going on here. And I think the same textured <clears throat> blood red stuff going on is actually the same stuff you find in the... Um, the Heart of Darkness and BFA, right? And that Yep. Zandalar, which I showed in my last video. Which I would definitely recommend watching. Thank you. Yeah, that was a fun video. Kind of a disappointing ending, though. <laughs> yeah. That was really sad. It didn't work the way I wanted it, but it worked last time, but that's okay. And I have to go out and find that spot again. It literally recognized that I was in Nashatar and the music changed, but unfortunately it didn't work that time. So I don't know. I'm gonna have to just take a look again. Might just be a specific like spot or like loading zone. Yeah. So as you guys see, as we're coming up here, you're going to see a lot of the uh, buildings have been unloaded. And I think this is the edge of the world, so we got to be careful here, yeah. Yeah. We don't want to get stuck the in the wall. The stuff would, would have been this way. So if you notice right here in front of us, you got this giant crater. And then you'll kind of come forward and you'll see all these, like, pathways and stuff on the ground. So let's keep going out this way. Now this is really neat. I love this up here. So you can kind of get like a weird signs formation going on with the ground here and the pathway. And since everything's unloaded, there's nothing out here in the distance. But this is one of my favorite spots in the OOB right here. Yeah, it looks really good. If you had to come to the my favorite spot of this, I would be. 
Oh, yeah, we're gonna get there. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, Cred goes to Submerge for finding this one. We were all struggling with it and Submerge came through. Yeah, thank you, Submerge. <laughs> thank you so much. Definitely thank you, Submerge. All right, let's keep going forward here. We do got to get over these mountains, like Uncle Rico would say. Always. It's really neat to me that uh, <clears throat> you go from like this dark, crazy skybox to like this beautiful, you know, sunset skybox. <laughs> That you're oh well, yeah they do i mean you know i don't know i think it's really cool yeah, technically we're no longer inside of the raid yeah technically in gore ground now right yeah uh... are we gonna head to your favorite place now are we not there yet we're definitely not there yet but we could go into that direction now Gotta get up here, though. Ah, come on. There we go. I need a target. All right, I'm gonna get back on my mount here. And where are we headed? This way. Oh yeah, we got a drop here. I don't know what Blizzard was thinking making Demon Hunters. Me neither, but <laughs> I love it. I'm glad they did, for sure. Allows me to break the game even harder. Otherwise, we would have done this with, like, warriors and stuff. Oh, gosh. That would be horrible. Yeah. You just gotta bank on surviving. Here's Drops. my favorite spot. Here we go. Let's I go check out your favorite target. spot. This was absolutely massive as well. You have some... buildings and stuff, and then over here... Wow, it's just crazy to me how much they keep out here. And this is really close to the raid as well. If you look into the distance soon, you can see the raid from here. Oh, we got the skybox changing again. Yep. I love the raid so is kind there, of just floating in the distance. <laughs> oh, you can see the raid right there. Oh, that's really neat. Oh, I'm going to break out my spyglass here. Give you guys a better up close shot. I love this foreign looking thing right here. I'm standing on. Yeah. This thing's awesome. Alright, let me. Little smiley stone over here. Where did I put my. Oh, yeah, I switched talents, that's why. <laughs> Alright, let's get a long sight going here. Give you guys a close up of the building from the side here. So here's the outside part of the raid. You can see all the orcs in the distance. You know what's really funny? Wow, if you look in the distance, none of the models or the animations are going on the uh, characters. They're just frozen still because they haven't loaded in yet. Huh. Yep. That's really neat. I never knew that the was even out here. are really useful. Yeah, they see a lot of things. All right, cool, 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 cool. I can see why this is your favorite spot. I mean, there's the smiley here as well. Oh yeah, smiley face. Yeah. Got like a blood ritual going on or something. 
Here, this little hut as well. Nothing in it pretty much, but it's still pretty cool. Just an entire village over here with like the horns and whatnot. Yeah, they really kept a lot out here. Do watch out with going towards the raid with this one, uh, with this village, because um, you Might die. could. Yeah, okay. there's still a lot of dead walls that way and whatnot. Okay. Make sure to walk towards this way. If we keep going this way, is there more to see out here? Um, I don't remember. I mean, there's more to see, but not like interesting. Just hmm? more area to look at. Let's go check if it out. If you go this way, actually, you can go up. There's a pathway up. So now you guys understand the size of this place is just ridiculous. Not as big as some of the others, though. Yeah, no, not for sure. But pretty massive, though. Maybe for 10k, you can do one of those. Oh, yeah. One of what we like to call Court of Stars. <laughs> yep. Yeah, those. Now that is a massive OB. I don't think anything takes that yet. I have not found a bigger Where's... OB than those. No. I don't think there ever will be. Well, I say that. Who knows? Maybe. Now, as you guys see, as we're coming up here, there is everything still unloaded. Weird, these like tile texture. A lot of this reminds me of Pandaria back here with the mountains. Yeah. Like same texture. You can go all the way up here, see the wraith from above actually. Ooh, yeah. Let's go get a good shot up here. Are we in Talong Steps? What's going on here? It does feel that way, doesn't it? <laughs> it does. It feels just like Pandaria. That's funny. Oh! Well. I'm all good. Okay. You're good. <laughs> no, no, let me go. See if we can race to the top here. You want to do this one again? <laughs> you lost the last one. Barely, though. If you remember ah, correctly, I oh, I'm falling. How far? Not that, not that far. Did you fall pretty far? Mm, I'm with you now. Oh, nice. There we go. Alright. Gotta get to that side. How are we doing on fell rushes? Oh, what? Didn't mean to do that. We're actually making our way up here pretty good. We are. Let's see here. Thing okay. is, now where do we go? Oh, I know where I'm going. <laughs> Just thinking the same thing. I don't think you can uh, stand there. Oh. Stand there. Oh, I'm falling. Alright, well I made it to the other side. But nothing too much over here. Ah, uh, I think I'm... Crap. I think this was a bad idea, actually. <laughs> Coming back to you. I think we need to go right, not left. 
Yeah. Uh. Okay, here we go. Then, what I'm gonna do... Ah, damn it. That was close. <laughs> oh, oh no. I made it. Let's go. I'm all the way down. Oh no. Making my way back up now. Don't worry, I'll show you the view from the video. Definitely. That's a good joke. Got him. Oh, there we go. Watch, just because I said that, now I'm gonna fall. I'll be waiting for your demise. <laughs> I don't even know if I can make this all the way up now. Shoot. Yeah, I don't know if it's possible to actually get up to the top, to be honest with you. I don't even mm -hmm. know how you got past this part. Uh, I got lucky. I, like, clipped on the edge of the mountain. Uh... Oh, here we go. There we go. I don't know if this is possible. It's pretty steep. But anyways, while we're up here, I'm going to give you guys a good view of the map. So if we can. Up. Hey. The only thing is, I don't think we can see anything. Actually, I got an idea. Inky Black Potion. Here we go. Nice. I don't know if that made everything worse or better. I mean, I can see the red just fine. Maybe just up your... Maybe brightness? Your something. distance. Hey, that's what we broke out of, I can see. You can see the... I uh, mean, I'm at the top now. Did you get up there? Pretty much. Oh yeah, you did. There we go. Up my view distance here. Ah! No! Oh, my view distance all the way, actually. Huh. Um, yes. I can see the right. Well, my graphics settings are set to 5. I don't know if that makes a difference. I mean, I can see the raid, but... I was saying, I wonder if we could clear up some of the fog. But anyways, it does look good. Not too much to see up here, but it is a cool view, though. I love this giant tree that's up the back side of the raid here. Do you see that? Mm-hmm. What's that all about? Well, my Not question sure. is, where do we fly down I know from that here? there's that wall up there. Well, we could go to the right of here, so... Okay. Uh, we'll start flying out this way. That way. Yeah. Give you guys a good flying down view here. So there is a bunch of water on the back side over here. Have you tried to get to the island from this side? I have. Same thing? You get stuck? Yep. Sadly. I'm gonna see how far I can get. I'll see how close I can get to the island. Wish me luck. If I die, I die. Long island, I'll just do the right. Oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> oh yeah, I could see why, because the map just cuts off, right? Yep. So that's why you get stuck, okay. That makes sense now. As you guys can see, this is also the edge of the world over here. Yeah, edge of the world. <laughs> well, I don't know if there's too much to see. Oh, let's go. Uh, we could go back to the beginning and go show everybody how to get out the other way as well. But 
you do get hit by death walls, but it's still kind of neat to see. Mm, yeah, we can do that. Uh, unless there's something else out here we missed. Mm, that's really we've been out for everything. Cool. Um, let me make us a campfire. Sacrificial burning. <laughs> Anybody want barbecued, Nathan? Here we go. I don't know if I taste very good, though. I uh, have a piece. <laughs> Here we go. Alright, so as you come to the beginning of the raid, um, over here in the first staircase, um, you can get out of bounds, and it's really simple. You literally just jump inside the staircase pole sticking out, or the side of it, or whatever. Make sure to do it on the right one and not the left one. Uh, you could do it on the left, but, um... You will instantly die if you do, like, if here, you go I'll show out you. of it, then. There we go. I'll show you guys how to you get will... on the... There we go. So you can get on the left side, but just stay away from this area straight ahead from me. Uh, because you will die. But if you go under the stairs here, you can meet here over here. There we go. And this actually gives you a good view outside the dungeon as well, or the raid. Oh, and don't go too far. Just like that, you'll die. Yep. But the crazy thing is being outside there is there is so many death walls. It's stupid. But one thing I did find actually what Hero's doing right now is uh, you can jump up there and then you can actually glide through the wall straight ahead. I'll show you guys that here in a second. And this is just another way that you can get out. Um, we haven't found another way other than these two. Uh, I mean, that I know of. Need another way. Yeah. Either. Didn't need it. Unless you're looking for other things, but... I mean, that's pretty much... What's outside of Hellfire Citadel. So you come up here. Come up here to the giant mine. And then you just fly out straight here. You can go through the wall. And then right here, boom. But if you walk out there, death. Walk over there, death. Come out I mean, this you way. You walk here. Yeah. Walk through here. And then death. Uh, <laughs> there's, but there's death any there, further right? than this is death. Yeah. Yeah. So if you guys come over here and you go out there, there's death. So pretty much that's it. I mean, there's not too much else out here. It is really, really neat to explore. If you guys have never come out here, I definitely recommend it. Um, so for thank sure. you, Submerge, for this place. And uh, I just want to say thank you again, everybody, for 5,000 subscribers. That's a huge milestone. Um, can't wait to hit 10. So, we're okay. on our way. We're on our way. So, All right. Well, Hero, thanks for joining me in the video tonight, man. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Yeah, and uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video of Hellfire Citadel. If you guys have any comments or questions, let me know um, down in the comment section below. And as always, guys, we will, uh, I'll catch you in the next video. Take care.